We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with Femi Online Stock, Molin Automotive Inc. here continuing to fight to hold support here. And within today's volatility, it was not the only stock trying to find support. The overall market did as well. And our spy bot sent out a bull indicator at 12 10 p.m. And from that moment forward, the inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside, full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 100% plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with Femi Online Stock, Molin Automotive Inc. here, fighting to stay above 30 cents, rejecting a key resistance level here based off the history of the chart. We're going to break down some key levels and everything going on here within the chart and the inflow versus outflows. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity of the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our Tesla bot. Our Tesla bot sent out a bull indicator since 10.35 a.m. And from that moment forward, the inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. They crossed back down cross back up with full strength there later on in the afternoon and full strength there on 42 vision and within hours call options went up 90 percent plus if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts and know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with Femi Online Stock, Mullen Automotive Inc. continuing to fight, as I stated earlier in the video, above 30 cents, right? This is a key area of resistance slash support. If the bulls stay above it, they gain strength. If it goes below it, the bears could start to dominate. And it's been bouncing off 28 to 29 cents from Friday and today. Now, it did hit a full transition here on 42 Vision from the dip to the rip area. And every single time it's hit the rip area, you could see those multiple rejections there, especially at 32 cents. I believe that is a critical level for the bulls to break through to actually gain some strength. Now, let's go ahead and look at this with the inflow versus outflow and bull and bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are annual line stock under a bear indicator now we have had bear indicators pop up before and quickly the next day get canceled by a bull indicator and in this volatility here, I've been talking about it, that we're below the midpoint, guys. The last two times that we crossed the midpoint was back here on October 19th and October 24th, followed by those bull indicators and full transitions on 42 vision. And the stock went from 21 cents all the way up to 41. And then up here from 36, 37 cents all the way up to 64 cents, right? So when these inflows have crossed, it reflects significantly into the chart. But all this time, even back here in this volatility, I had stated in those previous videos that until those inflows cross, all of this could go ahead and bring itself up, but quickly come right back down and get pulled down because the outflows continue to dominate. And here we are with the pull down and back down towards the 20 cent area. Now it's fighting to stay above 30 cents, but... Yes, we've gotten bull indicators that cancel out bear indicators, but no inflows getting closer to the midpoint or even crossing it, right? I've even stated, even if we don't cross it, we want to see it get closer to it to eventually start reflecting into the chart and pulling up with it. Now, when we zoom into the 15 minute, you could see the volatility that's been going on, but 
Every time it comes back over it, it gets rejected with those outflows crossing back down. And today was the most significant that the outflows pulled downwards since way back here on November 9th. And it had hit a dip area before coming back up. And today it's hit its first dip area on the 15 minutes. So this could be exciting if this is actually true support here and it's bouncing off of it. This could be the setup before the next bull run. But we need this strength to continue on the 15 minute, pull those inflows upwards and start reflecting into the 30 minute because right now it is under a bear indicator that needs to be canceled. And these outflows, as long as they stay below it, it could pull things down very quickly like it's done from way up here down towards the 20 cent area. A lot of great news going on with Femio Lens stock though, right? We've broken that down. We've talked about it. The CEO on the podcast, all the different news coming out with Bollinger Motors and its partnership with that battery pack that they're going to start using and so much more. I mean, so many great things. And then also the strikingly different tour is going on as we do these videos. And as we speak, they have dates that are actually scheduled and it's continued to go ahead and expand to many different states and hopefully they get even more states. But right now, this is what we need to watch in the charts. And these are the key levels I'm watching. And the first one is 28 cents to the downside as the first support. And below that is 25 cents. We want those inflows on the 15 minute to continue pushing up higher and staying above the midpoint there. I'm going to be watching that very carefully. The 30 minute, we want it to come closer to the midpoint or even cross it. And in the process of trying to come back up, cancel this bear indicator get a bull indicator in the process to the upside and the first resistance level is 32 cents and above 32 cents then comes 35 and then that last bear indicator from way back here on november 2nd where things rejected and started to fall down back towards the 52 week lows is 40 cents those are the critical levels i'm watching to the upside and to the downside. And many people in my videos usually ask, why is MULN stock such a hyped up stock? Or why are a lot of people following it or watching it as it's below a dollar and it has the risk of a reverse split? I've broken all of that down in my videos, but the main reason a lot of people are watching it is because right now, there's been a huge amount of short interest rising, even when it went up towards 60 cents and came back down to where it's at right now. Short interest has risen to some levels that are higher than before. And this news came out today. And this is just the heading. And this has been talked about by many different sources. And today it states here, annual lens stock price forecast, Molen short interest spikes to 42% of the float, guys. This is where things get very interesting. And they're talking about how it could try to bring itself back up to 60 cents. If the shorts get squeezed and if it breaks above that, the main level that this stock wants to get above and stay above for 10 days for NASDAQ compliance is $1. And that's the speculation right now with this stock plus the growth story behind it in the long term. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.